Hi everyone and welcome back to EG Express. I am here with Man of War and yeah, pretty much one thing I've meaning to do is all morning we've been doing like a lift pitch, which I'm sure you've heard of it. It's like when you get in a lift with someone, you pitch them for like 15 seconds to like get your game across. So if you wouldn't mind, would you like to do a lift pitch for Man of War? Yeah, sure. Uh, Man of War Corsair is a, a naval strategy action adventure uh, with pirates and sea monsters, orcs and wizards. And uh, it's an open world where you can travel around and uh, earn your fortune, basically. Alright, that's great. So, um, in regards to sea monsters, are we going to see the Kraken? Is that in there? <laughs> we've, we've got a Kraken. He's the last one that's going to go in, though, yeah. We've, right. At the moment, we've got a Megalodon, which is the smallest one in the game, but really? it still can eat the ship. Uh, the Black right. Leviathan um, literally can swallow a ship whole. Okay. And a Behemoth is like a giant narwhal, which will ram the side of the ship. But right. people find the Megalodon scary enough sometimes. Quite funny. Yeah. It's funny watching people freak out when they're playing it, so... That's usually something I do in like a game. If anything big comes at me, I'm like, oh god, and then there's usually always bigger fish. Yeah. So, that's just great. Um, in regards to how you say there's like orcs, pirates, wizards, that sort of stuff, are they from like a totally like, different continents in the game, or is everyone just like intertwined? Well, the orcs in, in the game are nomadic, so they're not really, you know, they're just going around. But right. you've got your own, the, the continent that you're dealing with is mainly the human continent of the old right. world, where you've got like uh, different rate factions, right. they're all, you know, whether at war or friendly, that sort of stuff. But you have got other races coming in right. and uh, causing problems because the sea's the, the main part of the adventure. The main <laughs> Right, and um, in regards to obviously the ships and stuff, uh, can you battle other ships and like take stuff from them to upgrade your own at all? Or? Yeah, you could basically. Yeah, you can you can battle other ships. Uh, whether it's like you know you uh, ranged with cannons, mm -hmm. uh, you can also board other ships and, right. and steal all their loot. Yeah. Um, you can trade. You can t trade all that stuff in port and buy new things in port, right. as well as new ships. Mm -hmm. uh, you, through early access, we're going to be adding in allies as well, which means right, that you'll okay. be able to get allied ships, not necessarily of your own race. So you could right, end up okay. with a high elf ship and things like that, which right. have completely different mechanics. But um, you always control that your ship, and then right. you order the other ones, right, and okay. you sort of get what you pay for. So if you've got a rubbish captain, they may not necessarily follow your orders. Yeah, yeah. You know, so uh, the better the captain, the more they're going to follow your orders. All right. Um, in regards to that, like getting allies among like other races and stuff. If if you bumped into another ship in the sea, could you like negotiate with them from there, or would that literally just be? shoot <laughs> no no i mean you've got friendly ships as well but um we've we've had a, as it's early access obviously nothing's yeah. on the table in terms of what we're adding but and we've already had some of the community um asking about it. i mean it doesn't come out to april the 15th but right. um people are already saying oh can we talk you know talk to friendly ships yeah. so we haven't really done that yet so um right. that's definitely something that's really interested me and i yeah, think on the board <laughs> yeah i think yeah definitely yeah all right, and um, just in regard to the being multiple player races like orcs, humans, high elves, is it just humans that are playable, or can you actually like be an orc at all? Or? In the main campaign, uh, you start off playing humans. Right. You'll also be a, later on in early access. You're able to play chaos, so there'll be a chaos campaign, which right. is a very different beast completely. <laughs> right. Okay. Because uh, obviously, a chaos uh, sorcerer can't go and trade in a human port, so right, it's yeah, more yeah. about killing as many people as possible. <laughs> right, um, okay. But you'll have we've we've developed a skirmish mode that's coming out in early access as well, which allows you to pick different races, and right. it's more like a traditional uh, tabletop battle game where you will have a point system, and right. you, you can allocate points to different ships, give captains to that ship, right. um, pick your race obviously, mm -hmm. and um, and go from there. All right. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. It's something I'd love to dive into, you know. Fun. <laughs> it's just to close off really if there's anything that you'd like to say about Man of War to people that are looking to get it for themselves yeah I think you know um, it's definitely a community based game and we are looking at uh, hearing from people and it, uh, we've already been getting some really good positive feedback from people and ideas right. and that's great so uh, I think you know if you're a fan of this sort of thing it's definitely worth coming and taking a look and yeah I think you know it's a sort of game where you know we're looking at uh, here you know people are playing it for 20 minutes half an hour at a time yeah, yeah. so um, it's definitely one that's a, a grower that you can sit there and play for quite a while all right well if, um, if I was gonna have a recommendation I'd recommend the Loch Ness Monster all right cool yeah for a creature <laughs> <laughs> and that would be funny <laughs> all right but uh, seriously though it's been really nice talking to you thanks yeah, you so much too. for your time man. cheers